seeing the mugshot of a 19-year-old who was arrested after police say he shot and killed his 14-year-old sister in their Opelika home last night. And we are hearing from the girl's grief-stricken father. Local Times Roy Ramos is live with this teen tragedy. Roy. Yeah, the parents of both the victim and the suspect just devastated by all of this. They say they don't know where their son got that gun from. They believe this shooting was accidental. Well, detectives say he told them, and I quote, I shot her. It was a mistake. Take me in. What are you going to miss about her most? Everything. Tears in the eyes of a father visibly distraught just hours after learning his 14-year-old daughter Brianna was shot and killed by who police said was her own brother. These kind of people never try to disrespect people or anything. You tell them, say, yes, that we yes, mom. And everybody loves her. 19-year-old Keon Thornhill arrested after investigators learned he and his sister Brianna got into an argument. When he told detectives, he went upstairs, got a gun, allegedly cleared it, and handed it to her when he claims she shot herself in the face. I don't know. I was working when I... The father told me he and his wife were working at the time and left the siblings home with four other children between the ages of 9 and 12. It was a neighbor who reported the shooting after Thornhill began knocking on doors, asking for help. One of the doors that he knocked at was an off-duty Opelaka police officer officer. That officer immediately drove his vehicle over to that house to assist them and that's when he discovered a, the 14 year old female that was suffering from an apparent gunshot wound. Throughout the day relatives arrived at the home inside the Mirage at Selbo Cove community still trying to make sense of what happened. In the arrest report we obtained Thornhill told detectives I shot her. It was a mistake. Take me in. But then continued to change his story about what really happened. She, she was a respectful young girl. Yes. And Thornhill now faces a charge of second-degree murder, an offense punishable by up to life in prison here in the state of Florida. For now in Opelika, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.